are watching the 10 minute talk show on LV television and I am your host Lex Vanguard. Today's OOTD is a pink dress that I got from Nordstrom Rack. I paired it with my metallic silver Michael Kors flats that are also from Nordstrom Rack. My silver earrings, silver necklace, silver fossil watch, and pink and silver ring. Bling bling. I use Fenty Beauty products for my face and my lips have MAC Lip Liner in the color Whirl and MAC Lipstick in the color D for Danger. I'm keeping it cute and casual as we move into spring. If you like my look, please like this video. It's time for LMFO, let me find out. According to Shannon Peter of Stylist, some of these celebrities beauty brands are actually worth the shelf space. Who knew? Let's do a roll call. There's JVN by Jonathan Van Ness, who's a celebrity hairstylist. Peter recommends his pre-washed scalp oil and his complete hydration kit. Then there's Fenty Beauty, of course, by Rihanna, which is what I wear on my face. Peter says you should try the soft matte longwear foundation and the non-sticky lip gloss, and I approve both messages. She also recommends the cream blusher. There's Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez, and the article writer says, try the soft pinch liquid blush and the perfect strokes mascara. There's Victoria Beckham Beauty, and her cell rejuvenating priming moisturizer, her future lash mascara, and her posh lipstick. Peter also recommends the body oil from Alicia Keys Soul Care. Harry Styles Pleasing Overnight Serum, Honest Beauty's Balm Stick by Jessica Alba, and a few other products. I'll leave a link to the full article below. Now here's your fashion forecast, or better yet, a forecasting tip. Guess what has become the best place to find out what's hot and what's not? I'll give you a sec. That's right, gorgeous. It's TikTok. Some of the biggest trendsetters in fashion are sharing the wealth on this social media platform. I'll give you a list of who to check out for forecast, history, and commentary. Mandy Lee at Old Loser in Brooklyn, Alexandra Hildreth at GuyFiera.Superfan, Augustina Panzoni at The Algorithm, Alyssa Mosley at Cherry Emoji XO, Priscilla at Priscilla Styles, Timothy at Relax, It's Only Fashion, Masha Lundstrom Halbert at Have Some Style, and Benji at Fashion Boy. Check out some of these fashion influencers and let me know if you get any good tips from them. Meanwhile, I'm going to go to commercial. See you soon. Are you an entrepreneur who is sick and tired and frustrated with trying to figure out how to promote your brand? I have an idea for you. Go over to lvpublicrelations.com, join our email list, and you'll be able to get free, yes, free tips and tricks straight to your inbox. We will do our best to help you build your brand and get closer to promoting to the audience that you want. See you there. Hello again. So last week we played Who Wore It Best and the decision was between Journey Smollett and Gigi Hadid, both in Versace. Although I love the complimentary blue eyeshadow and orange hair from Gigi's look, my vote went with Journey Smollett. Journey got my vote on this one. It's the legs for me. The ankle strap on the shoes added a nice accent. And the understatement of everything else allowed the details of the garment to be the focus. If you agree, give me a thumbs up on this video. It's time for a new game and the rules are simple. Tell me who wore it best. I'm going to show you the pick and let you use your skills to decide who's in charge of the girls. Who came to play and who came to slay? You gotta make a decision. Leave a comment down below with your choice and my opinion will be provided in next week's episode. Make sure that you're subscribed and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Also subscribe if you're interested in style tips like the ones I give in my style school videos or interviews with fashion and beauty entrepreneurs because that just might be what's up next, but who knows. This is the Q&A segment. One of the most common questions I receive is, how are you able to be so confident? The answer is, I'm not always confident. I just always go for it. Even if I don't always believe in my ability to do or get something that I want, I try it anyway. It's not confidence you're witnessing, it's bravery. Send me questions for next week. Ask me whatever you like regarding fashion, style, beauty, being an entrepreneur, or just girl stuff. Send your message to 202-918-5238 and say TMTS 
question. Once you finish adding yourself to the text list, go ahead and send me your question. I'll choose a question to answer during next week's episode. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my response. And turn on the notifications. It's time for the selfie celebration. Yay! Thank you, Million Dollar Moments, for being a new subscriber. I definitely appreciate you and everyone else who has become part of the LVTV tribe. I'm postponing any giveaways for now until we start to gain more subscribers, but I'm excited about giving away some bomb stuff to y'all. If you find the content on this channel of value, please share it. This helps me so much by helping my channel to grow. That's all I really need from you. I also want to share that I did lose my father last week. So I apologize for not posting this week's style school video on time. I want to be transparent about what I was struggling with emotionally this weekend and the fact that day eight was a little late. Keep me in your prayers, but know that I have made peace with it and I'm okay. My mom has been my support and I can't thank her enough for always being concerned about my well-being. I love you, mom. With that said, I do my best to be consistent and upload when I say I will. However, sometimes life happens and meeting my own deadlines becomes beyond my control. Just know that I do my best. I don't post 10 minute talk show episodes too far in advance because I want the content to be relevant and timely. So bear with me if you can while I figure this thing out. So thank you for watching and to my subscribers, I'm super grateful for you. Now here's the two minute tea. I've been paying attention to the who shot you situation between Megan Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez, and Megan's ex-best friend Kelsey Harris. As I was gathering the details of this messy mess, I realized, child, none of us really know what happened. People are speculating and arguing on social media like they saw with their own eyes. Crazy. I don't believe for two seconds Megan will lie about being shot, but I do believe she's lying about something. The questions are what and why. The jury of public opinion is divided. You got people over here like, protect black women. Who cares about what happened? She was shot, take her side, period. But then the people over here like, nah sis, we not sheep. We need facts, period. We can't just take her non-credible word for what happened. That blind loyalty ain't it. So this is a reminder to the people. We live in a country where everyone has the constitutional right to a fair trial. It is the judge and the jury that decides whether or not a person is guilty or innocent. In order to decide that, they need a few things. Two of those things are a suspect to try and the motive. So for all the people in the back wondering why we need to know if she slept with Tori or not, we do because it gives us context and allows for us to find the motive which will lead us to the real suspect. We cannot convict Shorty Tory with no evidence. So far all we have is Meg's word and Meg's account of the events that happened that evening are unreliable. I sat through the long transcript of what happened in court so far and it's honestly almost impossible to tell who pulled the trigger or if anyone was even intentionally aiming at Meg. I hate that she's going through this, but she's honestly making it harder on herself by not being forthcoming about the tea that evening, especially the part where she slept with Tori behind Kelsey's back. Hearing the transcript left me with so many questions. Did Megan sleep with Tori? or no? Nah. Did Megan sleep with Tori or no? Nah? If Tori shot Meg, what was his motive? How come no one else heard Tori say dance B? Why is no one talking about what the bodyguard was doing while the other three were fighting? What about the witness witnessing Megan getting jumped? Was Megan encouraged to do her interview with Gail King to conjure up a mistrial? Fortunately, I ain't gotta answer these questions, but I'll leave them with you to think about. Give me some of your theories in the comments. I know I'm out of time, but I have more to say, so we just gonna X the next segment or two for this one. There is so much power in the tongue, meaning the words that we speak. It's a reach, but remember when Megan used that beat from Tupac's song N-I-G-G-A for her song B-I-T-C-H? And now Kelsey done made a diss track over Biggie's song Who Shot You? Which was Biggie's response to Pac accusing him of being the shooter. 
Now I feel like Meg is low-key living Pac's life in a way. Both her and Pac were shot and didn't know who shot them since Meg said her back was turned before she changed her story. Both Pac and Meg accused someone close to them who they didn't completely trust. Pac ended up being wrong about Biggie. We still don't know if Meg is wrong or right about Tori. In Pac's case, it seemed to be someone closer to him than he thought, although the case remains unsolved. I hope the case with Tory Lanez does get solved and we do find out who to hold accountable for shooting Megan. All links will be in the description box below and thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate being able to share my thoughts with you. I hope to see you next week. Until then, keep your lights bright.